Hey there guys, gals and non-binary pals. Welcome back to Brownlow Books. Uh, I have another review for you. I've just recently finished Nell Hopkinson's Skinfolk, which is a collection of short stories. Um, Hopkinson is a Caribbean and Canadian author. So um, this is for my book club, because you'll probably notice there. It says winner of the World Fantasy Award. You know I'm not big on fantasy, you know I'm not big on horror, you know I'm not big on sci-fi. We have all of them. <laughs> That's what's happening in this collection of short stories. So it says, In Skin Folk, with 15 works ranging from science fiction to Caribbean folklore, passionate love to chilling horror, Nalo Hopkinson is at her award-winning best. Okay. It is not my genre. It was read for book club. It was a pick from one of my friends. Um probably never would have picked this up on my own that's yeah that being said there was three stories I enjoyed in this like enough to discuss in the book club um one being snake <laughs> um it follows a dude who is a pedophile and it's like his like first person's perspective and um it's like basically him thinking going through getting prepared to abduct a young girl and so it's definitely like dark and fucking creepy and some people probably would not be able to handle it i fucking loved it it does take a turn a good one if you're not a pedophile um <laughs> so that was one of the ones that i enjoyed where i was like whoa <laughs> all right uh feels weird smiling talking about a pedophile but here we are <laughs> so um yeah, that was one of the ones that I enjoyed. Um, another one was the glass bottle trick. Um, this girl marries this guy and he has these blue glass bottles in a tree outside their house. And he's just like, don't ever move them. Don't break them. Like, he's really superstitious. Like, so it's like keep them. And then um, she breaks one by accident and a thing happens. And I'm going to leave it at that. But um, it was like... I don't even know how to describe it. It had this, like, things are so normal. This is normal. This is normal. He's a nice guy. This is so normal. Blah, boring life. But it's fine. I'll be secure. And it just gave me such, like, Shirley, Black Shirley Jackson vibes. That's what it gave me. <laughs> I was just like, this is so boring when it's getting something. But I'm like, whoa, it got to something. <laughs> if you've ever read The Lottery, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> You're just like, what's going on? Why is, why are you being like this? Whoa. Yeah. That. That. I don't think I ever told you about the Shirley Jackson that I read. It was a collection of short stories that ended with the lottery. And yeah, the entire time I was like, what's scary about this? And then I realized that scary is other people. <laughs> so that one had fives of this. We, you know, he's taking care of her, taking care of her mother, driving them places, doing things. She's like, this is an okay life. And then, yeah. Things. Creepy things. So that was nice. Um, there's another one I enjoyed, um, and the Lily's Them of Low. Um, so this woman is just going about her life, and then Lily's show up, and she's like, what? And it's just, things start happening. It feels like she's being, like, haunted or stalked, but, like, not stalked by an actual, like, human entity, like, stalked by something else. And so it's just kind of, like this creepy feeling of being watched all the time and then things happen. Be so vague. Things happen. <laughs> um, yeah, the resolution of that one I felt in my fucking soul. So <laughs> there's that. But yeah, as a whole, um, they did feel a little disjointed for me between each other. <laughs> um, I often like my short stories to collections to like have a central theme or like go together in some way um but like I said from science fiction to Caribbean folklore and so I was like I, I expected them to be like a little more mixed up like you know in the same story but they feel very very apart where some were just like pure science fiction like craziness like what is happening and then some were much more like this feels just like a folk story being retold in a different voice which is not a bad thing. Those are the ones I enjoyed a little more. But um they all did have they all did have that bit of a creep factor, which was nice. Um they all had 
all but one really had something sort of supernatural haunted kind of creepiness to it um and that one actually turned out to be one of my friend's favorites like the only thing in it is like this th oh my god what's wrong there's a fish there's something wrong with it it's like a three-eyed fish or something that this person catches and it like puts them onto this different path for the evening and like just being accepted it was a really nice one it wasn't one of my favorites just because I was like I don't feel this the way that my friends do <laughs> but um yeah they're not I feel like I say this a lot they're not terrible <laughs> they are well written they are good they're just not for me uh would I pick up more Nala Hopkins in um there is one that has been on the Canada Reads long list in the past so I'll probably end up picking that one up at some point and reading it but um as a whole I feel like it's maybe maybe not for me um my friends were into it some of them said that they would read other things by her so like good <laughs> uh like I said she is Canadian so like I do have that connection of like I do want to read this because I do want to read more Canadian but like doesn't always work out that way such a mood reader <laughs> yeah so that was our book club pick I want to say for January it was for December and got pushed to January you know how Christmas be so um yeah as a whole it has just shy of 1600 ratings on Goodreads uh they even out to a 3.98 I feel like that is so specific <laughs> 3.98 so I mean that's basically a four let's be real it's a four so like people like it that's good you know uh just like I said not for me but if you like creepy, not gory horror, it's not even really horror, it's just kind of creepy sci-fi. Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah, you might like it. Or at least some of it. I mean, it's a bunch of stories together. <laughs> you could like one and not another. I sure did, so... Yeah, that's it. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you around next time.